Okay, I've got a JavaFX project uh, in IntelliJ using Gradle. I'm going to add a line to the dependencies in the build.gradle file to be able to use an H2 database. Uh, an H2 database works pretty nicely with Java projects because there's not much else you need to do. Uh, I'm going to update the controller to make a connection to the database using the JDBC driver. And we're going to update the FXML file to just have a text area. Now, I don't have any data in the database. I don't even have a database at the moment, but I'm going to run the program anyway to show you what happens. All right, the program does compile and it runs. Uh, the text area is empty, which was to be expected because once you stop the program, look what happens. This resources folder just got created. And within it, there is a bicycle DB uh, .db file. That got created from the code in my controller. Now I can use the database tab in IntelliJ to connect to that database. So I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to do data source from path. I'm going to navigate to my project folder, the resources folder, highlight that .db file, and make sure the H2 driver is chosen. Now, depending on what version of H2 you have installed, uh, that's what numbers go in the build.gradle file. More about that in the comments or in the description. Now I'm going to actually run some SQL to create a table in the database called bike and I'm going to add one bike record to the database. Now if I expand the schemas folder, uh, I do see bike, I can double click it and I can make a connection to that database within IntelliJ. I can edit and add and delete and all that right here. But when you're going to run the program, you need to disconnect from the database in IntelliJ so that the program can make the connection to the database. And so here is where I'm going to actually execute a query and more about a result set in a later video but for now you will see that the program does load and data from the table is being shown within the graphical user interface